Hey everybody, Boom Boys here. We are on a trip. We're going to Southeast Oklahoma to go trout fishing. So the kids took off school tomorrow and I took off work and we're gonna make a pit stop here in Oklahoma City and we're gonna do a few fun things before we head to Southeast Oklahoma. So we're gonna wake up tomorrow and we're gonna go to Bass Pro Shops and hopefully grab a few things that will help us catch some trout. Now that's something that I have not done a lot of in Oklahoma is trout fishing. So. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go on the Blue River in southeast Oklahoma. Uh, essentially, it's about straight north of Lake Texoma. It's going to be a great time, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh, right in the middle. No, we're playing the ski ball. Here. <laughs> if I can't beat her, look, I got enough quarters until I do beat her. I gotta get a 50 to beat you. 50 to win, baby. Oh boy, I think we spent more money on games than we did food there, man. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Is this where you're gonna sleep tonight? I'm tired. So we're gonna get these kids to bed and we'll see you in the morning, probably at Bass Pro Shops. All right, Bass Pro Shops, here we are. This is where dreams come true. Right? Right? Yeah. Huh? Or is this where daddy's dreams come true? Oh, look at the bow. Oh, yeah. Looks like worms. Why do you that. choose the worms, dad? I don't know, man. I just think we're in Oklahoma. I mean, in the wintertime, not many flies, but there's probably worms in there. So I used to use this when I was a little boy with my brother in Colorado. And there was one time that we went to a privately stocked pond there right by a campsite in Colorado. And me and my brother were using this and we had a, a fly tied to it with a spinner. And we were the only ones in this entire place smashing fish and everybody was wanting to know what we were using. So it's our ticket. I don't know. <laughs> so we hit the jackpot. We actually behind me is Skyler with the uh, Oklahoma Wildlife Department and he is in charge, of, he's a fishing coordinator for Oklahoma and he kind of gave us a download on what these fish are going to hit on on the Blue River and so we loaded our basket with it so not every day you're going to find someone from the Wildlife Department that's going to hook you up in Bass Pro. Hey getting tips from the pros man dude you gotta you gotta take it when you can get it. So leaving Bass Pro I barely got out of there with my wallet fully intact. Yeah your fault John Barry. But man, it's really cool. We met some of our subscribers from Procasset and Bass Pro came up and talked to us. It was great talking to you guys. If you ever see our crazy clan out and about, please come up and talk to us. We would love to talk to you all and meet y'all in person. We're 13 minutes away from catching trout in Oklahoma. So excited, I can tell. James takes me on another one of his fishing trips. <laughs> oh man, here we are. We are right before the Blue River campsite. We're at Scotty's Blue River One Stop. This was recommended to drop by here. So we're gonna go by here, maybe see if they got some baits that we can grab a hold of before we actually go to the river. Cause we're only gonna have about two and a half hours to fish the first day here. You know it's a fishing place whenever you got them right here. All the good fishing stuff right here. They got trout stuff. Everything is trout stuff. You can tell we are in trout country. Look at all this. Look at all that bait. Look at all that. Looks to me like you could pretty much wait till you come here to get all your bait for the Blue River. This is uh, pretty cool. They got so much stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. We are set up, I think. If they're wanting to bite, I think we'll catch them. All right, we are here at the Blue River campsite. So campground all around, as you can see there, you actually have campers. So we're gonna fish with Charles and Samuel who watch our videos on YouTube. So that's pretty cool meeting them guys for the first time and it looks like a big parking area right here so we're going to get our gear set up and just right down there is the blue river now it extends way up and way down so we're going to walk around this thing and we're going to get our gear together and we'll see you on the river unbelievable it's hard to imagine this is in oklahoma this looks like it should be in colorado check that out how pretty that is unbelievable They both got a fish there, so they're making us look bad. We better start figuring it out pretty quick. Oh, John Barry just lost one. Oh, man. Oh, boy. First fish right here, guys. First fish. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. Can we, can we, can we get him to the bank? Yes, sir, we did. Oh. On the board. Look at that, guys. Got the worm. You're on mine, baby. You're on mine. Hey! Hey, look! 
Look, Samuel's go. got one over there. That boy. We got that one on this gulp earthworms right here. I'll pull up that line. My hands are so cold, I can't hardly thread it up there. There we go, just like that. So this current is flowing just kind of right here, flowing all from north kind of to south right here. And we're just letting this bait take it. Now this guy was catching all these fish were over here um, using a fly rod and he was using an indicator. And I believe he was using a fly. So you can see my little bobber there. Right there, the yellow thing floating. John Barry got one over there, man. Got another one on the worm. Oh, come off. Ah, it came off. Did you see what fly he was using? I did. Oh, he was hammering. Cast me. Do you think it was because he's where he's at or the fly? I think it was getting fur, fur enough over. Is that about the depth they're at? Three and a half, four feet. Uh, three and a half, four feet? Yeah. Oh, we're about to call it quit, man. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Come on. Get up here. <laughs> You're mine. Oklahoma. Oh, no. Trout. Awesome. That's a beautiful fish. So here's day one right here. Just a partial day. We got here late. Got two here. Samuel's got one. John Barry's got one. And Charles, he let John Barry use all his bait. So there we go. Yeah. All his bait. John Barry, hold that up again. Worth it. Absolutely, look at that. <laughs> worth it, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely worth it. All right, guys, we're gonna clean these and we'll see you here tomorrow. Here we are, day two. It is cold. Man, I think we got a good idea of what they're gonna bite. Yesterday, salmon eggs was the best one. Um, I did catch them on gulp worms. And today, I hooked up John Barry with a death roll hook similar to what we use for walleye fishing. And I think that's gonna work too. Now, I talked to the owner of that gas station yesterday that scotty's where we got that bait just right outside of here really nice guy um he was telling me about just right north of here there's desperado falls you actually can find that on google maps and that's probably a less fish area because here at the blue river campsite it's probably the most fish area and you could tell with where we walked everything's so beaten down here that a lot of people fish here but they stock this every two weeks from November to March. So regardless if there's a lot of people fishing, they put a lot of fish in here, guys. So you can almost guarantee if you come here, there's probably gonna be fish in here, even if there's a lot of people fishing because they stock so many fish in here. But if you want a more remote place, just take the road north of here, which we might, just depends on the fishing. I don't think it'll be a tough day to limit out today, but if the fishing's tough, we'll probably go north of here where there's not as many people where you have to walk just a little bit more. So. Should be a good day, guys. I pulled out my eight foot crappie rod because yesterday I really didn't know what to expect and I brought a lot of our smaller rods just because of trees or if we could cast or not. You do not want to bring small rods. It was hard to set the hook. So bring your normal bass fishing rods. There's no really sense to go get a special rod for this, but the longer the rod, the better for setting the hook on these because you'll have bites and if you can't really set the hook, they just hit it and let it go. So do not bring your little whisker seeker rods like I brought. Bring your longer rods. You got one, John Barry? Yeah. He's got one, baby. All right, the death roll hook. Look at that. Look at the death roll hook. I got a two-aught death roll hook, and he was just slow retrieving it. So I don't know if you can see our bobbers. That yellow one's Jeremy's. The orange one's mine. They just barely hit it, guys. Sometimes they just barely, you just barely see it tap right there. Oh, there's one. Hey, here we go, baby. There we go. Oh, he got off. That a boy, Jeremy. He, he, pull him up here, buddy. Pull him up. <laughs> get him up. Get him on shore so he doesn't flop off. He's looked good. Yeah, he's hooked really good. This is my Probably favorite not. fish now. That's your favorite fish? Yeah, this is catfish. You are a fisherman. I am a fisherman. Is that what you like the most? I love to fish. I've loved to fish since I was your age. You started fishing when you were oh. Got him now, boys. Okay. Come on, don't get off. <laughs> I got one. Yeah? Huh? They are good at getting off, man. All right, let's see if I can flop them up there getting off. Come on, baby. Okay. There we go. Second one of the day. Here you go, bud. So we went north 
just a little bit up the river, maybe a mile, mile and a half. And so we're walking in right now to a path. The bite kind of pretty much shut down where we were at. They bit really, really early. And after that, it really slowed down. So I hope this is gonna be the spot. Well, the Blue River is literally a very special river. It's got pools after pools after pools after waterfalls after waterfalls. I mean, it is so beautiful. So coming from West Oklahoma, it's like you're almost in another world that this doesn't even exist in Oklahoma. But man, Oklahoma has so much to offer. It's just so beautiful here, man. Allison and the girls, they found this spot for us. They walked here while we were fishing at the other place. The fish here, where are they at? There are these five men who are very so sweet. And he's like, you want to catch some fish today? And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they're saying, go use this though. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right where Jeremy is, he's like, go right there. And yeah. they had all limited out, like five or six of them. Oh. And they had a couple that were like big, big, oh, wow. big, like big fatties. Fat. Yes, big fatties. Did they cast way out there or by the he bank? He said, no, yeah, he said it's more than eight, eight foot feet. And he said out there. Um, you fish off bottom? Said, yes, off, yes, I think so. No bothers. I don't think so. I think I remember him saying you fish off bottom. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you use power I bait? got some good. I got some good bites. I just my line was too loose. I, I didn't oh, set the hook. Okay. It, I mean, it took it down the wow. bobber. Oh, so times. you're fishing with the bobber. Shallow. Uh, I was fishing, yeah, with the bobber about the line about yeah. the weight about this far down from okay. the bobber. Awesome. There he is. There we go, guys. There we go, right here. Uh huh. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, you're mine. Look at that, guys. Awesome. Just caught that fish on this Gulp Alive pinch crawler. Man, these things, I think, are really good. This is a salmon egg hook, or number eight salmon hook. Just kind of threading up this line right here. Just like that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, man. Oh, he's a nice, oh. Backed up. Oh, he got off. We switched to a couple split shots and then doe bait right here. Trout bait with a treble. No shame in our game. No shame in our game. Here we go, guys. This is my limit fish right here. Oh, baby, come on. Oh, switch to the orange doe bait. All right, ready? Here, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, get him over here. All right. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. You never look so beautiful in my life. That's a good one. That looks beautiful. That They're so good. pretty, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Good thing you had a trouble. Hook. I know. Limited trout right here on the Blue River. That a boy. Good job, bud. Switched the bottom fish in, and now we're actually getting them. We might not have been deep enough before. You need to knock him out. Boy, you better get him on the bank before we lose him. <laughs> Come on now. He said good. What are you talking about? What do you think about the Blue River, man? It's so cool. It's way different West Oklahoma, isn't it? There's nothing like this in Western Oklahoma. Charles oh, yeah. has finally got one. Let's go, baby. Let's He's go missed on. so many, man. Such bad luck. Oh, oh, that's a pig. That's a pig. Desperate times, desperate measures, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Oh, that's yeah. how we do it. Good. Oh, on the board. That's a solid eater. I would not complain about that, ladies and gentlemen. This will be Jeremy's Limit Fish, his third one. Oh, no, nice and easy. Oh, you got the net. You got the net. Easy over here. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, that's a good one. That's your last Oh, one. yeah. There we go. Oh, what a that's good one. huge. There we go. I wanted one more. Oh, yeah. You caught that on camera. All right. Here, Charlie. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you do what you have to. Wait, is this a rainbow or a brook? That look, I think it's a rainbow, but it's just, it doesn't have the coloration. He's small, not super big, but you know what? He'll, he'll still taste good. It'll still taste good, and it's more than I've gotten all weekend, so, aside from the other one. <laughs> That's a good one. John Barry's Limit Fish. Oh, it's another nice one. Dude, it's another nice one. Oh, he's in that beaver. Look at that, he's in that beaver. Oh, he came off right here. Allison is on the board. Let's go. That's a decent one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need a bone John Barry's about to limit out on this fish. Oh, 
Oh, like he's bigger. Get him up here, yes. boy. So we're about to go clean these fish. And before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to Charles and Samuel. Thank you so much for letting us share this time with you guys at the Blue River. Man, you both are awesome guys. Samuel, you are an awesome young man. You're gonna do great things in life. What an incredible time with you guys. Well guys, that's a wrap. Our first trip here at Blue River in Southeast Oklahoma. Unbelievable trip, boys, wasn't it? I mean, this is incredible to have this opportunity right here in Oklahoma. Uh, we all limited out today, and Allison caught that one that you just saw here, but man, what an amazing place. You've got to come visit this place. If you're in Texas, Oklahoma, if you're around here, you've got to come visit Blue River. There's pretty much fish everywhere you go on this river. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong fishing right here where everybody fishes right here at Hughes Landing, uh, just at the main Blue River campsite, or you can go further north where we ended up today. There were fish everywhere. I mean, we saw people catch, catching fish everywhere. Fly fishermen, bait fishermen like us today. But man, what an amazing time. Guys, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please sub to the Boom Boys, and we'll see you on the next one. I mean, just look at that, guys. Just look at that. That's crazy. I can't, I can't believe salmon. He's awesome. like the perfect look look salmon, right? Beautiful fish. I know, it's beautiful, Jeremy. It's beautiful. <laughs> Should I get a picture of you guys? Look at all that glitter. No. All that glitter, man.